I want to literally pop them up a little bit, let that knee come down, shift back here, and he's already uncomfortable. So that by the time I get that, you see what that hand back there where we need to get that quick up. So he's up, he should already be up, and then I'm just squeezing him into a, a tiny little ball there. My hand will be right there, and then notice how his chest compresses into my wrist when I do that. So you're literally just like compressing everything into it. Right. But it starts with, if I'm fighting here and he's, he's doing stuff, look, he's really starting to try to manipulate with the legs as he should be. He's a good guard fighter. All right. Now, never reach here because guess what? Oh my God, I'm in trouble. Okay. Don't go south, don't go north of the border. Here's the border, the belt line, the hip area. All right. So I don't want to lean too much forward because I will get in trouble. So I want to, I'm going to get past his hips and control his hips and either get past and get side control or work this particular strangle. So we're going to go for the strangle right now. And I'll, I'll have Derek demo here in a second, but I'm going to set it here, set it up for you. All right. Now, one thing when you're doing this, always remember if I start going under his legs, I am really open to a sankaku or something else. I mean, I'm, I'm in trouble, okay? So I don't want to stay there very long. So if I'm, I'm working here and I got to have a good balance here, I'm going to give a little space here. Okay, I don't want to be too close because I'm sucking into his game. So here we are. All right. Now, with these hands, I want to try to take an anchor here and still control, okay? Because if he starts to do something, then I can start working out and get out of trouble. But you see, I've got some control points here. If I just dig in with both hands here, I'm just asking him to get a triangle on me, okay? So start with one hand. I control the hip here with the right hand. The left hand, I'm still manipulating, okay? I'm coming back. I'm not going into him too much. I'm going to start to pull him because I do want to pull him and suck him into it. But I'm starting to do this. Now with this other hand, I'll slip under and I'll catch his hip. Both hands on the belt here, right at the hip. Now once, once I do that, I'm going to drag him up and I'm going to stack him. Okay, now very obvious move is just to stack all the time, get side position. That's an old move. It works. It still works. But we're gonna do something else here. Okay, got him here. Stack him up, and I keep moving back to stack him up. And once I stack him up, I want to try to get trap here. So I want to trap my left knee on his right upper arm. Okay, and I start trapping there, and I lean into him. Now Derek's gonna show how to, how to actually use the, the back of the belt here. But the idea is, I want to reach under here, and just to cross his neck, and I'm going to work this lapel strangle here. And it's a single hand strangle, that's why they call it kata te jume, kata te, kata te jume. My Japanese is not good on this, but there you go, but there you go there, and I lean him into it, and it causes a strangle, I lean him into it. Now, Derek's going to show this, he's also going to show how to use this right hand to manipulate and steer him, and cause the choke to happen a lot quicker, okay? So I'll let you take it from there. So that's, that's the basis of it. Now let's go from there so you can see more of it. Okay, so again, I'm not playing into the guard game. I'm making some space. That's a good idea, is always to control on the inside of the thighs or even better, on the inside of the knees, because then I can start moving back here. Okay, and once I create enough space, I'm gonna loop around and catch that belt. And again, I can still Force this down here, move them around still, okay? Once I'm ready to go, loops around again. We move back so that you can actually pull him into the stack, okay? Once we get that stack, you keep him up here and you drive your knee straight down in, okay? Once you get that arm nailed down, the hand that's on the same side as the arm, let's go with the belt, slides in, and then you drive into him, okay? His butt goes towards his head and you force your forearm in. So as soon as that comes in, you force everything forward. Show that my hand too. Come around the side so you can see the back of his hand. Okay, so, you want the, the pull up version? Yeah. So as I'm controlling here, come through, come through, okay? I'm gonna Pull up, and as I bring that knee down, and I'm ready to go, this hand on the right side slides and grabs the belt still right behind here. So we went from the back corner to pull him up and stack him, 
and then we're going to slide around and grab in the middle part of his back. And what that does is that allows me to now pull up and push even more. It also gives me more control so that when I slide my left hand around for the choke, even if I'm not getting it, I'm applying my forearm here and he's not getting it. So I can just pull him into it, okay? And that's all from that grip. So you pull him up and in. See, guys, look, did everybody see the back end how he's pulling up? Now watch when he does this again. But it's also, and in judo, Kodokan judo, it's the single hand strangle. It's one variation of it. There are many variations of the single hand strangle. Kata te jume. A good stack there causes the compression. I start to feel a choke before he even puts a hand Yeah, on that's a good point, Mike. He's putting you way up on top of your shoulders and then your head. Yeah. And, it, you know, he's, he's also, he's trapping, kind of cutting off the wind in that way, too. Yeah. So it's really putting some That's another great way that you don't have to overcommit on the, the grip. Because, it again, you, remember, it's one hand. So you're not going to have as much control as you would otherwise. But with that, that back, that center of the lower back grip on the belt, you can pull him up and start compressing him in into the choke. So it's almost like you're kind of shoving them all over in one direction. Give it a shot, guys. Okay.